Hi everyone, today I just wanted to share with you quickly how I store my papers, um, including my paper pads and my loose sheets of, of paper. I have these two crates and this one um, here. I've had both of these for a very long time and it's just been the place for me to store my paper and I love it. Um, so here I have all my cardstock and I have them kind of divided up by um, like regular, basil, and I have textured at the front. And then these are all my close to my heart paper packs in the back. And I have these two dividers that I bought at uh, Hobby Lobby. And I store different uh, cardstocks in there, mostly recollections. And these uh, newer ones that are unopened for the most part are from um, Stampin' Up. Then the black crate here holds all my 12 by 12 paper pads. And as you can see, I don't have a lot, um, which I'm okay with. I've made myself the rule that if I can't fit it in these containers, um, I just don't get it. So I, I have to kill some stacks in order to do that and reward myself with a, another paper pad. Uh, here's a basket that I have, this little black basket that holds all my 6x6 six six right on up to 8.5x11. Uh, and even I still have the 6x12 uh, pads that came with um, my Cricut from years ago. And then down here I have these 12x12 uh, 12 12 sterilized drawers. Um, there's nine of them and I just have them the top one has uh, journaling spots and then it goes on down by color. I have them grouped by color and then by theme. So school and then I have uh, Christmas and uh, other holidays down there. And then I do have um, some containers down there that have um, the cropper hoppers that have different things, uh, themed paper as well. Uh, eight and a half by 11 cardstock are in this divider and then I have like wedding music sheets and the last one holds a lot of uh, papers for my kids scrapbooks um, like papers that are in Spanish specifically so and then these two Rubbermaid containers hold the toilet paper rolls and this one holds stitching stuff it has nothing to do with paper but it's just in the middle here and it works <laughs> as far as storage so anyway I just wanted to share that with you it's really simple I would totally love to be able to buy those racks and have like all my paper open and displayed that way but this really works for me and for my space and I love having it exposed as I do because um, I know what I have and I can see by color and and things. The only thing I'm going to do um, is I'm going. I think I'm going to store my paper pads and even these little ones here um, by theme, so that I kind of, if I'm looking for a specific, you know, like wedding or something, I can go right to it instead of kind of searching through those. Even though it's not a lot, but anyway, uh, thank you so much for watching, and I hope this was helpful uh, to you. See you in the next one. Bye bye.